Good day and welcome back to our class. Our topic for today is present value, simple and compound interest. Let's have the future value formula of compound interest. So we have here future value is equal to present value times 1 plus r over n raised to nt, such that fb is the future value, so pb is the present value or the principal, r is the interest rate, while n is the frequency in a year, and t is the number of years. We will limit, let us recall the formula for the simple interest. Uh, okay, so future value is equal to present value times 1 plus rt. Now, since we are looking now for the present value, I divide both sides of the equation by 1 plus rt. So, therefore, I can factor out the 1 plus rt on this side. So, I can factor 1 plus rt and 1 plus rt. So, therefore, the present value under simple interest is equal to future value all over 1 plus rt. On the other hand, if we will recall the future value of compound interest, we have future value is equal to present value times 1 plus r over n raised to nt. And if I divide both sides by the expression, 1 plus r over n raised to nt, so I can factor out on this right side, okay, the expression 1 plus r over n raised to nt, so I have present value under compound interest is equal to future value divided by 1 plus r over n raised to nt. So let's have example number 1. Find the present value to earn 50,000 pesos for 3 years if it is compounds quarterly at 8%. So first, let's identify the given. So the present value is 50,000 because that is our target money. For 3 years, then our rate is equal to 8% compounded quarterly. So it means that the frequency is equal to 4. And we want to find out the present value or our principal or the money right now. So present value is equal to future value divided by the expression 1 plus r over n raised to nt. Then we simply plug in the given numbers, meaning to say 50,000 divided by the expression 1 plus 8% over 4 raised to 4 times 3. So, the answer here is 39,424.66 pesos. Take note that the present value is always less than your future value. So, let's have a second example. How much money will you have to invest for 5 years and 6% paid semi-annually to make a down payment of 800,000 pesos on house. So, again, let's identify the given in order to solve this problem. So, we have future values equal to 800,000 pesos. So, the time is 5 years and the rate is equal to 6% compounded semi-annually. So, since it is compounded semi-annually, it means that, okay, the frequency in a year is equal to 2. And... The present value is unknown. Take note that the present value is equal to future value divided by the expression 1 plus r over n raised to nt. And simply plug in the numbers. So meaning to say we have 800,000 divided by the expression 1 plus 6% divided by 2 raised to 2 times 5. So, the present value is equal to 595,273.13. It means that you need to invest now 595,275.13 for you to have a future value of 800,000 pesos in 5 years. Let's have another example. So, how much will you invest now to have a maturity value of 90,000 pesos in 4 years if it will be invested at 8% simple interest. So, before we solve, let's identify the given. So, the following are given. So, the future value is 90,000. So, since that is the maturity value, then time is equal to 4 years and the rate is equal to 8%. Since this is a simple interest, we don't need the frequency. And we want to find out the present value. 
So take note that the present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus RT. Then let's plug in the numbers. So present value is equal to 90,000 divided by 1 plus 8% times 4. So we have the present value of 68,181.82 cents. So take note that the present value is always less than the future value.